Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our Lee Sung Woo career mode series. Uh, this is the big episode we've been waiting for. This is the uh, end of our regular season and the big game against Real Madrid that somehow I managed to actually start in. Because of how close the Champions League match was to this game, Luis Suarez ended up playing in the Champions League match, which left me with the ability to play with almost a full starting lineup for the Barcelona squad. So. I finally get to start next to Messi in this game. Cristiano Ronaldo actually does not start, which is a bit odd. But for the most part, the rest of the team is there, except for Vallejo is starting at center back. Uh, we are the best defensive team in the league right now um, with 13 goals conceded, I believe, which is much better than any other team in the league. Here in the eighth minute, we actually managed to get a pretty easy breakaway. Uh, early on, you could tell the lack of ability in that defender um, versus if they would have played Varane or any of their other defensive units. Pepe seemed to have had to do a lot by himself, which allowed me to pull that defender out of position and smash that against the post. Um, I shot it a little hard right there because of how close I was to the keeper. I was worried that if I shot it any softer, it was not going to get past the keeper. Ended up shooting it a little too hard. Wanted to see if that I if I got credit for the assist, I ended up not getting credit for it, which is a little disappointing, but at the same time, it was okay because I do enjoy playing with Christian Teo, and it's good to see him get a goal because it means he'll stay in the team. Here, uh, 10 minutes later, we actually managed to go ahead and grab ourselves a goal, um, putting that on the outside of our boot. I think and smashing that into the corner giving us a 2-0 lead against Real Madrid within 20 minutes which is actually incredible and the fact that I managed to get a goal alongside Christian Teo with the likes of some of the best players in the world playing around us um, and playing against one of the best teams in the world um, felt good to get the goal and here in the 26th minute we actually got another opportunity but Pepe ended up taking me out uh, risking the yellow card and potential red card for him to uh, give us an opportunity um, to to try to score another goal. Here I just try to get the short pass from Messi, pass it into Teo. Um, he ends up passing it a couple more times. We end up getting uh, offside here because of it. Uh, too many. The ball ended up bouncing around a little too much, bouncing off of our players and ended up giving away an offside. So we weren't able to grab another goal, but th the team was feeling really good. I love playing with the first team. This is why I wanted to do a career mode within Barcelona, um, which makes it really disappointing that I don't get to play with this team week in, week out. Uh, as I said in the last episode, uh, thinking about leaving the team and possibly Luis Suarez thinking about leaving the team. I did check his uh, morale again. He is very happy with the team, probably because he's playing better, he's scoring more goals, getting a couple more opportunities in the league, not just the Champions League. But at the same time, it is disappointing as I almost score one more time to end out the first half. But um, was kind of hoping he would leave, but at the same time didn't want him to leave because he is a big part of this team. Um, I think between the two of us, there's nothing we can't do with this Barcelona squad. Um, it gives us a good duality between the two strikers, especially because I'm 84 rated right now. Potentially could hit 85 rated by the end of the season. Um, here I get a breakaway in the 80th minute, and I just was not able to get the goal. Somehow I managed to do that slide tackle without it being illegal. Definitely was on a yellow card. Honestly thought I was getting a red card. Um, but I was kind of okay with that to risk it and try to get a goal out of it, which we almost did. Uh, good save by Casilla and um, kept the game at 2-0. Throughout this entire game, as you guys see right here, they had we've had six shots and they've had zero. Zero shots, not zero shots on target, but zero shots altogether. They could not find a way to break down our defense, which was not surprising at all because we've managed to do it all season. Um, barely conceding goals and just making sure that we were playing to the best of our ability week in week out and it definitely shows i mean the team is playing incredible has played incredible all season and um i believe with this win and then the next win in the uh, if we win the next game um we do end up clinching the league although the game doesn't recognize that we clinch the league until the last game of the season so um real madrid are in second place right now so this game was really big for us to win it made sure that uh we kept a 12 point lead against them 
or a 9 to 12 point lead, whatever it was. Um, but this was definitely the big game of the season. A couple more big games coming up at the end. I think we have Atletico Madrid as the last game in the season. And uh, Champions League as well is also going on, which you guys will see. Obviously, I'm not going to be playing in the games. Haven't played in them all year, but uh, we will see the results go through. Um, big surprise here at the end of the episode as well. Like I said, this is the end of the um, end of the regular season, and um, hopefully we manage to make it into the Champions League final as well. Obviously, we did not make it into the uh, Copa final which was a little disappointing could have gone for the treble possibly um, but ended up not working out in our favor so a little disappointing there uh, the game ends up ending 2-0 nine shots six on target I think the majority of those shots were honestly for me I think it took six shots in this game six or seven shots in this game um, Real Madrid zero shots zero shot uh, zero shots on target 52 possession um, which was surprising that they managed to keep more possession, but it was really just all in their in the back of their uh, in their second half or their half, I guess I should say. Um, which is honestly because even though we didn't have majority possession, we were dominating the game. We we kept the ball and we were pushing forward for goals. We were taking a lot of shots. So here against Schalke, we managed to take an early lead with Luis Suarez uh, getting a goal in the seventh minute. Alex Song picking up a yellow card in the sixteenth minute. Um, definitely comfortable going into this game. This is a team that I definitely knew we could beat. Um, a very strong team in itself, but not as strong as Barcelona. Uh, best player in the team for them possibly is, I want to say Morales at this point, who ends up getting a goal in the 87th minute, but within the 87th minute, Messi ends up grabbing a goal for himself as well. Um, so. The team's been playing well, and I don't know if you noticed, but Aaron's was actually in the Champions League team, which was really surprising to see, and I honestly kind of forgot he was even in this squad because of his injury um, and ended up not playing for such a long time. But here in the game against Almeria, like I said, this was kind of the game that solidified us winning the league. I believe at this point there were going to be three or four games left, and uh, Real Madrid were not going to be able to catch up with us in points, so we were going to go ahead and win the league. Even if we tied, uh, there was no way that Real Madrid was going to score uh, 20 some odd goals to actually fix their goal difference. And here in the 37th minute, I'm actually able to grab a beautiful a goal off of a corner kick. Um, I've been doing a lot of corner kicks this way recently, just kind of playing it on the outskirts of the box and just working my way back into the box and taking a shot just because a lot of defenders have really poor positioning when it comes to that. And here, ending the first half, we have another opportunity, but I end up passing the ball a little too hard. Vidal is not able to get anywhere near grabbing that ball for us. So the end of the first half is going to end in a 1-0 lead for us. So feeling really good with the team like I said uh, this one was a bit more awkward I always seem to play worse after I play a really good team um, I always seem to play a little bit worse as an entire squad mainly because I'm playing with a lesser I don't want to say lesser capable team but it kind of is we have Alex Song playing in the midfield um, and not in a CDM position so he his positioning was really weird compared to having Rakitic and Iniesta um, there's just a couple things here and there that Having really good players and going down to decent players always makes it kind of difficult. And here in the 62nd minute, we actually managed to get another opportunity off of a corner. Just trying to work our way into the box any way we can, but Christian Teo is not able to hold onto that ball and they get they get a breakaway there. So here in the 62nd minute, I notice you know, my player rating is really good. I already grabbed my goal for the game. Um, so I may as well just go ahead and come out and let myself rest for the following week of uh, fixtures that we have coming up. Obviously we have another game in the Champions League that we will be simulating because I'm not going to be a part of in the coming days that Suarez will play in, which is kind of why I wanted to play the majority of this game as much as I could to make sure that Suarez was in full health and uh, stamina to go into the game against Schalke. But, um, at the same time, I didn't want to burn myself out and end up making my player rating worse. As you guys know, trying to make sure that I can at least get one of those goals for the end of the season. Um, I think we're going to miss our goal um, for goals by a few, probably three or four goals. Our assists we're probably going to miss by two or three. And um, 
our shot percentage to goal or your shot to goal percentage is definitely not going to make it i can already tell you that right now i take way too many shots and i don't make enough goals it's just how i play and uh it's, it's it puts me in a bad spot but here against Schalke, we managed to play a little bit stronger of a team iniesta busquets roberto messi suarez to ron playing that front six um makes the team much stronger DeSanto actually manages to grab a goal for them in the 10th minute uh, Messi brings it back in the 21st minute. Howadez gets a red card in the 36th, and Suarez grabs a goal in the 53rd. Uh, Busquets actually also ends up picking up an injury, which kind of hinders us a little bit. So hopefully his injury does not last too long. But Messi does grab a goal in the 75th minute, making sure that we do win that game. 3-1 and winning on aggregate by a good bit as well. I want to say 5-2 was aggregate. So going up against Zaragoza... Um, the league is already won, as you guys can kind of tell from the team that we put out. Delgado's playing left back again. Teo's playing left wing. I'm playing at striker with Turan, or not Turan, um, Vidal on the right. And uh, our midfield is back to its weak little self with Halilovic and um, that lovely little midfielder I cannot remember the name of. That Oh, Lopez, the one I do not like playing with at all. But here you see 53 goal difference, 85 points. Real Madrid sitting at 73 points, and nobody else in the league was contesting us. This was a really easy season for us, which was nice to see, but at the same time, I kind of want a little bit more competition, which might be why I leave uh, Barcelona. I want more competition, especially because I'm not playing in the Champions League. I'm not getting the competitive nature of me out in this in this series. Um, this is a little bit of a longer episode. Obviously, I wanted to get the rest of the season into this episode, as you guys are going to see. So um, make sure you guys keep in tune with that. I wanted to show all of this because I knew that this could be one of my last games playing because of the next two games were kind of against bigger teams. I knew chances were I, were I wasn't going to be able to get into the squad so I wanted to show you you know the entire lineup say uh, the whole intro of a game because I usually skip through them um, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that uh, like I said Delgado playing Alex Song, Lopez, Halilovic. This is a much weaker squad, a team that I kind of got used to playing with in the first half of the season. Really glad that Christian Teo is staying in the squad instead of bringing in Aaron's. I was not a fan of playing with Aaron's. I'm much more of a fan of Christian Teo. He's one of my favorite players, honestly, um, in real life and in the game. So uh, it is nice to play alongside him. He gives me a little bit more of a creative freedom like playing with Messi. Um, versus Aaron's he's more of a ball hog type which doesn't really help me at all and Vidal plays the same way so it's nice to always have at least one player on the field that's going to give me a little bit of hope here in the 25th minute they actually ended up going through and uh, potentially scoring a goal but they ended up off sides which gave us a little bit of hope that we were not going to go down early in this game but we were playing horribly the team could not get the ball i think at this point zaragoza had like 60 percent possession if not more just an incredibly frustrating first half um, I couldn't get the ball. I tried everything in my power to help the midfielders out, but they're just not strong enough players, and it really showed. This team had no clue what they were doing. We were trying to play like a full Barcelona squad, but in reality, we should have been playing like a Zaragoza and just sitting back, getting the ball when we could, pass it around a little bit, but just honestly work towards the goal as fast as possible, and it just was not working out that way for us. Um, the little tiki taka passing that we tried to do failed every single time in the first half, which made it incredibly frustrating to play. Um, we had a lot of ball hog moments in this game. Halilovic is one of the worst when it comes to holding the ball way too long. And like I said, having to run holding the ball too long. I ended up trying to go for a free kick here. I knew I should have put that much more out to the right whenever I took that shot and a lot less power. But um, ended up trying to go for it anyways. Here in the 65th minute, I am actually about to come out because Alex Song gets a red card. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to play in this game anymore. Zaragoza, you can have this game. Do whatever you will. Uh, Suarez is going to come in and finish them off. But Alex Song getting that red card just kind of pissed me off and I didn't want to play with the team anymore. So we end up going against Valencia in that following week. Um, 
on a Wednesday mid midweek match. There was definitely no way I was getting into this game, but we did play a almost full squad. Sergi Samper actually managed to work his way into the team, but the rest of the team was pretty strong. Munir also managed to come in and grab a goal for himself. Here against Atletico Madrid, we do play a little bit of a weaker squad. Uh, not too bad. Adriano's back into the team. Alex Song is back into the team. And the front three is back to Messi, Suarez, and Turan. Um, Felipe Luis ends up getting a red card pretty early on into the game. Martinez grabs a goal to end up equalizing it. Uh, but D uh, Danny Alves ends up getting a goal in the 45th minute. Roberto grabs a goal in the 60th minute. And Vieto grabs a goal in the 65th to kind of make the game a little bit more interesting but at the end of the day it was always going to be Barcelona winning so there you go we have officially won the league even though we did win the league like three four weeks ago kind of wish I played in that game just so I could have been able to see the um, the celebration at the end of it but it is what it is I went ahead and got, went into training because I didn't see my stat increase um, ended up being that it was actually 85 the game just didn't catch up so we are officially 85 rated. I am going to show you guys what my um, stats are right now at the end of this season to show you guys how much we have progressed. Obviously, we went up seven overall attribute points this season, which is incredible. The fact we grew as much as we did is insane. Um, we managed to grab 11 goals this season, two assists, and 19 clean sheets. Obviously, the clean sheets really wasn't truly me, but it is nice that they put that in there. We actually picked up three yellow cards as well in our 25 appearances in La Liga. Um, obviously, only played the one game in Copa and obviously didn't do very well in that at all. But um, just looking at the overall, uh, as of right now, we're 59 million worth right now, which is incredible. Our acceleration is up to 89. Our sprint speed is up to 92. Uh, a lot of green on this. 88 dribbling, 94 ball control, 86 finishing. I mean, the player is coming out incredibly well. We'll focus a little bit more on our long passing, free kick accuracy, crossing in the next season. Uh, obviously still working a little bit with our tackling just to make ourselves a more well-rounded player and get, being able to get the ball in those tough situations in the um, in the third half or the third part of the pitch where I can actually grab a few more goals just by knocking the ball away from them but here is the big surprise for the episode i'm actually playing in the final of the champions league somehow some way we're getting the game against bayern munich so be, make sure you check in for the next episode hopefully coming out tomorrow and until then i'll see you guys later